can go a second to the board so I can just explain you a little bit how the assembly process has been designed. Right now we're in Ulm, Germany at our joint venture partner, Aveco. This represents the end of about a 12-month phase of design and testing and validation and it's great to be here to see all the parts come together on the vehicles. We can move to the first station. There is part of my team over there that will uh, explain you some of the features that we have implemented in the testing line. I think from the history of Aveco, right, that's a key part of Nikola's partnership with Aveco. Their long-standing history in the European market in heavy-duty trucks, now to have a renewing of that Ohm assembly plant that really is about the future. We're partnering with them to electrify those platforms and add fuel cell electric technology, really, that are the future of zero emissions. So we're leveraging the legacy that is Aveco as a part of our partnership and moving forward together to see that zero emissions future come to life. I learned a slogan, it's start before you're ready. We start before we are really 100% ready. The start before you're ready mentality is really brought in there from Nicola and in that joint venture and that's what I, what I like. There's of course the positive effect if you, you have speed and you have the quality. That's something what the customer is asking for of course. We have the opportunity to set up a brand new plant. So what we decided is uh, to have uh, only what is required when the operator needs uh, in order to reduce uh, the mistakes on the line. They need to assemble only what uh, logistics is delivering them. Both the uh, manufacturing assembly lines in our factory, in Ulm and in Coolidge, have a modular design which means that they're designed in a way that we can have both the battery electric variant of the tray and the fuel cell electric variant of the tray manufactured on the same line. A lot of the guys are coming from the old uh, truck production line and they are quite excited. They have a lot of experience assembling trucks and now as they see the new equipment, new technologies, this is very important to look also forward into the future. We invested a lot of money for these manipulators also to allow the operator to assemble this front flap, this, this huge part, in an in a easy way. It's faster, it's also more safe. Yeah? It takes uh, two minutes yeah, from starting to finish the cycle. Before, when we assembled it, it was at least uh, five times as long. Through Nicola, we get the speed in the project. And uh, through the German engineering, we get this, uh, this love for the detail in, yes? And then if you compare this speed and love for the detail, you have to have a really good product at the end. It's really exciting to be part of this team, of Nikola team. We take the experience from, from Iveco and mix it up with idea from Nikola, which fits very good together. And the result you can see here. So a lot of the elements that we use here on this chassis are essentially carryover elements that are being used by Iveco in production on their diesel trucks, which is the S-Way platform Iveco just brought to the market two years ago. Um, we're able to essentially not reinvent the wheel, but reinvent the technology that powers the wheel. And that was a huge advantage for us um, in terms of the speed of the development, reaching their necessary maturity, and um, to bring a real good product to the market quickly. We're really excited about the fuel cell. It offers our customers the potential to haul freight over 500 miles with zero emissions. Yeah, they need to go that way quite a bit. The chassis that we are working on right now is the first prototype. In this current stage, it is probably 60 to 70 percent complete. I'm standing right in front of the driver's side hydrogen storage tank. There will be another on the passenger side. We call these the side saddles. Right behind the cab is the backpack, which will contain 
three more hydrogen storage tanks, which is being built just behind me. The technology itself, the core of the technology, the process has been understood, but now bringing it to this application, that's the challenge that we're tackling. We have to build up a fueling network and a supply network for the hydrogen. From the very beginning, we've approached this as a singular problem. We didn't build trucks waiting for someone else to figure out how to make hydrogen and distribute it and have it available to fuel. And that helps us bring it together to offer a solution that we think has a great value proposition. Our customers think that too. Trucking is in a transformation. This transformation is not easy. This is for all the marbles. This is for our planet. Whether you're from Europe, whether you're German, whether you're Italian, whether you're male, whether you're female, we have people that are united around, there's a better way to do this. We don't have a culture of Nicola that's been ingrained for decades. We have a culture of everybody bringing all of their background together and making something new. If you want the quality, you need the people. Otherwise, you miss something. You miss uh, the art. So here we want to create a product that has also heart. I love to come every day to here. I'm so happy and so proud to be a part of the team. Here, when you're coming home in the evening, you know what you did. There will be a day when we are assembling here a lot of trucks per day, yes, and this is something what is satisfying me. It is a hard problem to solve. If it were not a hard problem, it would already be solved. And you have to believe in the mission. You have to believe in your heart that this is a better way to do things.